Hello, darlings. Happy Friday to all of you out there. The weekend is finally upon us, which only means the final video for me this week. And we're going to go for a Design Me Devon. Yes, we are indeed. Um, and I've chosen some little cheeky static caravans. Um, this build just looks so cool. I This just brings back lots of nostalgia for summer holidays at campsites when I was younger. And I just saw this on the gallery under the design me devon hashtag keep those coming as well keep because i'm still checking through them all the time so keep those builds coming but i saw this and i was like i've got to do this i've got to just renovate some cheeky caravans so that is what we're going to go to do today and um, hopefully i don't get interrupted by anything because i have just seen i'm going to whisper to you i've just seen my next door neighbor go in their house with a floor sander no, I'm sorry, but I can't be having that noise when I'm recording, darling. So what I'm going to have to do is hopefully not get interrupted with this recording. But um, we can, they can't help it. They're renovating the house. We've already done ours. You know, you crack on, darlings. Yes, with that being said, let's uh, flop in and see what build we're going to be renovating today. So here it is, my loves. Just a couple of statics. These rundown caravans here are in need of some love, my friends. They really, really are. And this was done by the creator, Maz SZ88. SZ88. So Maz SZ88. So thank you so much for putting this up on the gallery. I absolutely love it. And this is the story. A typical British site, especially during the summer holidays. However, this little park has fallen on hard times, but with new owners comes a new lease of life for these caravans. Can these little statics be restored to their former summertime glory? Are we all going on a summer holiday this year? Budget is 20k. Shell challenge, sort of. Build challenge, blah, blah, blah. When placing. So move objects and all that business. But yes, I, Saz, I absolutely love... Maz, sorry. Maz, I absolutely love this build i think it's gorgeous so let's have a little look around in game shall we so here it is my loves this is the couple of static caravans we've got going on the details are absolutely amazing as always with you your guys builds i absolutely love them how have you done that oh i get what you've done i was just about to say how have you floated that one there on pillars and not but you've done that trick you've done that trick where you build up higher and bring it down and it allows it to sit on top of this thing here then which i love I'm absolutely for it so that one's open so we may as well have a look inside holy dear christ what's going on here what's going on in here love bloody hell the amount of detail you've cramped in here little toilet here i kind of like the layout of this i think the layout could stay the same to be honest with you um it's really nice a little bedroom going on here that's really cute and then obviously this one is a bit more of a static version so this one here looks like a mobile home more than a caravan really this has got a caravan vibe to it to me um yeah and then this one here is more of a static home and this is also in various states of disrepair as well there's a few objects i might save like the bike and stuff um yeah but everything else needs to go loves and with a budget of 20k it's going to be quite hard to furnish both of these i think and make it look attractive and then obviously this is from debug um i might keep that there i might just straighten it up and keep that there to be honest with you just so this place looks a little bit full but i think we're going to bring this to life my dears yes we are so without further ado let's get into the speed build format and i'm going to talk you through what i do into the speed build format this was fun to do it was it was quite simple it was quite simple in what i did um might have went over budget by around 10k i think <laughs> You know, they had extra expenses that had to be, like, bought into the project. And who are we to judge, you know? So what I did, as always, is go around, collect everything, just get rid of all the stuff that I don't want. I do know you can use the hammer to tool to get rid of it, but I'm a Virgo and I do love cleaning up like I do. I have to say that every time because there's always someone like, why don't you use a hammer? Because I don't want to. Don't want to. Kept a few things, a few of the things in the toilet that the toilet and the sink could stay and i made the caravans kind of differ in a couple of ways one of them i made the actual caravan-y looking one i made a bit more traditional how i remember these caravans when i was younger um carpets a little bit run well not run down but very 80s 
Um, so I kept that, still like gave it a bit of renovation, but I kept that for one of them. And then the other caravan, I just modernized a little bit, or the static home, I modernized a little bit, put a decking on it, um, a patio door, slide and door moment. Um, and I was all in all for it, very much for it. Did have little bits of difficulties here and there, like, oh, am I doing what I want here? Is this right? Um, and you'll probably see I've left in a few mistakes that I've made as well, including um, with this build here. I made it look modern on the inside in the beginning. And then I was like, do you know what? I want these caravans to differ a little bit. So I did differ them slightly. And I think it was the best way to do it that way. I really did. How are you? Anyway, I hope you're right. I'm on Twitch tonight, 7 p.m. I'm playing a really cool new game called The Tenants. And it's, you have to like make over people's like flats and apartments and houses. And then you have to become a landlord and you rent these places out. And these people come over and sort of view your houses and see if they want to like 7 p.m. GMT loves. So if you want to come and watch me do that, then I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. But yeah, th what I'm doing now doesn't make sense because this caravan does change slightly. This caravan does change slightly and goes a little bit more traditional. Um, after I did the other one, I think. I can't remember. I can't remember for the life of me. But yeah, definitely one of them changed. And this one here, I did a little bit more modern. And yeah, you can see I had 30k. I was just like, I'm never going to be able to do this with <laughs> 20k. So I just changed the storyline, to be honest with you. <laughs> um but yeah i'm brightening up the place just making it look cleaner making it i looked at a few family photos as well of where we went on we didn't go on many caravan holidays we went on a few we tended to go abroad when i was younger um but i really wanted to look at the place where i've been and sort of see what sort of things were around it lots of flowers here and there and there was a swing set which i did put in as well um, I just remember the feeling of that, the feeling of going on a holiday in a campsite in the UK in the summer when you were young. It was so bloody exciting. So exciting. What am I doing here? <laughs> just going to pause. I think I'm once again listening to Mile Higher podcast on YouTube. <laughs> I watched their royal family one today. Interesting stuff, but most of the stuff they went over, I did know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that was why I was pausing there. But yeah, the... Even the smells, when it comes down to like the smells of these places, like it just smells like outdoors and you can smell sausages being cooked by people. Oh, I just love that. I want that back. I really do. What am I doing here? I'm, I reckon I'm figuring out what am I? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Look at me. You reckon I could have checked this footage a little bit better because I'm pausing all over the show. Wondering. <laughs> I think I'm like mentally making notes on what I'm going to do. Um, and I think I forgot that I recorded this. <laughs> so we're just seeing how I like the, th the thought process, you know. And here I am. Ifing over <laughs> fences and stuff now. <laughs> oh god, it's awful. Well, we're carrying on. And ignore this terrain painting as well. In the beginning, I put all of that gravel and stuff around. But I didn't like it in the end. I actually get rid of the gravel. And did we go for a bit more of a grass moment? These caravans usually are surrounded by a lot more grass and stuff rather than gravel. They do have a bit of gravel outside the front of their like entrances and stuff. But I just think here yeah, I'm whiffling around and wondering what to do, whether to get rid of the gravel or I don't know, loves. Look at this is disgusting. This is probably the worst footage I've ever used for Design Me Tevin. And we've got a save point in here as well. Oh, how embarrassing. So here is where I was like, yeah, we were going to put in a little door coming out onto this decking area here. I go for the Moschino ones. These windows, the windows change in this place as well. They actually do change. And you see that I forgot to record a bit of the kitchen there, but that's all I did. That is literally all I did. And I think this area changed around quite uh, a lot as well, if I can remember rightly. I think we did change around this area. <laughs> this is not the footage that's supposed to be in here. I don't know why this is in here. Why did I record this? Oh, well, you can just see me derping around, can't you? Can't you? I mean, there's a thought process here, love, at least. At least you can sort of see what I was trying to go for. But I didn't end up keeping in that sofa. We go for a bigger sofa, this one here, in a nice orange as well. Um, I just wanted a pop of colour in here, a little pop of colour. And I was wondering, oh, where can I put the orientation here where it wouldn't look weird? 
I end up putting it kind of like, well, I'll show you in just a sec. What am I doing? Aiden, go back. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> is this is, why have I kept this in? It's staying in now. It's literally staying in. We're just going to have to deal with it, loves, today, to be honest with you. Because I, I, I've had to record, build, and edit this in one day. Never do that. It's not good. Um, and this is me changing around the wallpapers now. I was just like, I'm not feeling these wallpapers. I want a bit more of the colors I would usually see with these. So I changed the windows up as well. That one there annoys me, that window, because it's got a black and white version. But it's not. It's the whole frame. It's not like the little things on the windows, if you know what I mean. And that's so annoying. That is so annoying. I don't understand why those windows do that. But I thought these windows fit perfectly on the actual caravan itself anyway. So that's what we did. That was what we did. We're going to take a little pause here while I'm thinking. <laughs> I can't believe I've kept this in. Very embarrassing. But you know, to, I'm just going to waffle on as normal and just pretend nothing's ever happened. There we go. We had a save point there as well. Great stuff. <laughs> Carrying on. So this is where I ended up putting in a little... There. I put the sofa there. I just thought that was a nice little place for it. And then I was wondering what to put under here. And I went with a side table in the end. I actually went for a side table on this bit. I just thought the side table... I don't know. It needed to look like it had a little bit of storage in it. Places like these caravans sometimes would have like old DVDs and stuff in it. Um, and they normally come with these like old cabinets and stuff. So I, I think I use this one. Yeah, I do. I use this one in here. Um, I just think it suits it. I think it suits it. It's fine. They're not the greatest looking indoors and they never usually are these static caravans. They're not usually the greatest architectural masterpieces or interior design masterpieces. But I knew that I wanted to kind of portray that across anyway with this. This one here, a bit less so because it does look a little bit more modern and it's got it's a little bit more up to date. And I was trying to think as well with like using these chairs for example around the dining table yeah this footage is definitely not meant to be in here this is me pre-building it and for some reason i've recorded it for some reason no idea what's going on but we're gonna crack on um those folding chairs i would imagine these places are quite tight for space and stuff so i knew i wanted to get storage in which is why i used that little cabinet over there and um, the one from snowy escape that is looks a little bit like lockers and stuff which kind of makes sense in this place as well because with british kind of uh holiday parks they've usually got like swimming pool areas they've got a clubhouse they've sometimes got like indoor play pens for the kids and stuff uh so the lockers could be just full of all of that stuff to be honest with you to be honest but yeah it was still it was still quite fun to play around with this it was it was fun to play around i'd like to do my own like holiday park one day maybe do a build for like a really british holiday park now this is me that was me deleting all of the things then because I was going to go and put them back in to record that. How did I manage to record it like that? I don't know. But that is just going to have to be the question for today. Anyway, we're into a kid's room. So obviously making use of the new bunk beds. I always remember staying in bunk beds in these caravans as well. So I'm so glad we've got them in game now. Um, I wish they would work a bit better. Won't lie. Wish they would work a little bit better. But they don't. Sorry, the camera is all over the place. I don't know how I've done this today. Really don't. But it's staying in now. I've... I've no idea how this has happened, but it is absolutely staying in. So, oh my God, I'm so sorry. The camera is spinning around. I know I'm not recording. I think I'm not recording here and I am. But um, yeah, the best place I used to stay was down in Sandy Bay in Cornwall. Is it in Cornwall, Sandy Bay? I think it is, or it could be in Devon, actually, Sandy Bay. Used to play, stay in a place called Sandy Bay and it was uh holiday park and it used to have something called tiger club does anybody remember tiger club any of you brits running through the jungle climbing up the trees do you, do you remember that i used to love that i used to be all about that front row front row getting my absolute tiger club on i really was <laughs> really was i think you used to get badges or something if i'm remembering rightly then i can't really remember but i'm sure you used to get badges or something something along those lines and I used to carry around one of those plastic tubes that were on a piece of string and used to be able to put money in it. Used to like put all my pound coins in there to go to the arcades to play on the all of the games. That was it. That was me. As a kid, everyone was outside playing. I was like, there's an arcade there with loads of games. So I'll, I'll see you later, loves. Running through the jungle, climbing up the trees. <laughs> 
I bet there is somebody out there at least that can definitely remember Tiger Club. I'd be very interested to know if you did. I really would. But yeah, this little decking area here, I was like, right, look, we'll get some lighting and stuff up there. And I just end up putting lots of debug flowers in here. Main reasons being we were running out of funding and I was just like, we need to make sure that we have got all of the debug flowers out because if we don't have debug flowers, it's going to eat through our budget. And it was the same thing with the uh, trees as well. Like all of the trees and stuff that I used, I make sure that they all debug as well. So this lot still came in quite cheap really for what it is it's two living spaces um plus outside stuff too oh there's me checking the lighting now oh my god i've furnished the decking already look so i definitely i reckon what i've done with this footage is think i was recording when i was actually not building and i've just sped up the footage and now this is what we're watching how embarrassing what a fail for a friday but you know you're still getting the basic idea of it aren't you so, <laughs> so that is that is where we're gonna go with this so this is me now thinking ah uh, i want to make this place look a little bit more run down so this is me going around and putting a bit more traditional elements into the place a bit of naff wallpaper sticky carpet maybe it's a new carpet it's just a little bit it's just not got the taste and stuff as what the modern place has really but I don't know. I still think it looks quite nice. Yeah, I definitely dabbed this well up, didn't I? Oh my lord, I'm a failure. I'm gonna have to apologize to you guys because this is bloody awful. But you're getting a general idea of what I did for this. You really are. And it's all right. You're getting a basic idea, and that's that's all that matters for this, to be honest with you. But I will say now, I am embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> That the fact that I thought I was recording and I wasn't awful. Anyway, so this bit here, I was like, oh, I really want to do like a little tile moment on the indoors because they wouldn't necessarily have carpet. They would have normally had like Lionel or Lino or like a, um, what's the wood called? Like the click wood, laminate, laminate flooring. But I still wanted this place to look a little bit more older, but still just revamped slightly. So that's what I did with the lionel and then put up the tiles on the side to kind of coincide with the kitchen that we put in and i think we use the base game kitchen in here i do think we use the base game kitchen but um mainly because it was the cheapest and we were on 11k already i get rid of these curtains as well i think i think they were taking up too much room and they weren't allowing um up like furniture to be put up against them so i end up getting rid of them but yeah how embarrassing how embarrassing. You've buggered this up, Aiden, haven't you? Yes, you have. Now, here we go. You're going to start jiggling around with the kitchen. Now, hopefully you get to see some kind of kitchen being put in and not just this awful paused video that's going on. So, no, you didn't exactly see me get, get putting the kitchen in, um, which is very fuming, but it's there. And you'll still catch glimpses of it now because I am going around and practicing where I am putting the actual furniture instead. But... Hey, there's going to be a video tour at the end, isn't there, anyway? And <laughs> professional YouTuber here. Thank you so much for coming. You've got to have at least one mistake. Maybe a few. But I put some nice shelves off to the side. Used that sofa. I always forget where that sofa's from. I can't remember. A little cheeky old TV set on top of that base game um, TV unit as well. I'm definitely watching a podcast here. Watching... <laughs> Um, and I'm going to put a couple of these cabinets up here as well. But I think I just size them down slightly. And it just adds a little bit of dimension around the windows. Maybe they, again, a bit more storage. These places would come with a whole lot of storage as well. Because there is not much room in them, to be honest with you. Um, if this was my build, I would have maybe short, like, put it a little bit thinner, the actual build itself. Just so it married in quite well and made it look like they usually would have. But... Um, I still love it and nonetheless that's no shade to your build your build was stunning it really was but when I'm going to be do doing mine I'd love to do like a holiday park I think that would be a really cool build on like a 64 by 64 lot or something I'm up for that I really am so I end up I end up putting a little dining table in this area as well um do we, do we see that now oh we do how fantastic this is actually me thinking I'm recording actually as well yes I look very knowing what I'm doing knowing what I'm doing, so maybe the rest of the video will be saved. <laughs> Help me feel better in the comments, please, about this whole situation. Say, Aiden, you're doing great. 
Um, yeah, a little coat rack and I put a little rug out the um, door there as well. And I realized we didn't even see the other bedroom being furnished, but it wasn't nothing exciting. You didn't miss too much. So you're going to be all right. I promise. Older bathroom, obviously still kept in the shower and the toilet that was already there anyway. So that helped with the budget with this place. And with the bedroom as well, I did want to make the bedroom look a little bit more, a little bit more older. So I go for a brown bed spread. Oh, beautiful. And in the beginning, I was going to use these curtains in here as well. But again, trying to place furniture against these curtains, it was going to be a nightmare. And I was like, oh, can I even get a side table in there? Where can I put this bed? But I end up using um, the kitchen cupboards, the smaller ones, just to make it look like the little bedside tables. And then I put up these little bamboo. So it's not an attractive looking room by any means. I just wanted to get realism across. Usually the like wardrobes would have been built in like built in wardrobes I would I always remember from caravans and one thing with caravan holidays as well that I always remember is hearing um seagulls walk across the top of the roof like the, the t -t -t on top of the like tin I always remember that from the holidays I wonder if anybody else remembers that too because they were noisy bastards they're always noisy bastards but on holiday parks especially they were noisy bastards really were oh no this is me actually thinking yep no i'm actually recording now so i think <laughs> i think i just derped out for the beginning of the video so this is me going around now and putting in just making the place look a lot more attractive and i do that by means of lots of um landscaping um and we put a little fire pit out as well so they can all sit around here in the evenings that's what i always remember as well sitting around a fire pit Frying off marshmallows and sausages and I want a holiday. Me and Tom are going to go camping quite a bit this um, summer. So I cannot wait for that. I'm so excited. We've got a huge tent um, that we got last year, actually. Um, so I'm definitely going to make use of that. As any of you going on holiday this year, I'd be interested to know. I don't want to go abroad yet. I don't feel ready to go ab abroad yet. Um, I think I'm going to wait until next year before a foreign holiday. Definitely. Let's get this pandemic finished and out first, shall we? But but yeah, and I use a lot of these as well. These little like pine trees. I just think these look nice dotted around in various places around the build. Um, and again, using debug. And I think everything was debug. How much have we actually got left? We've got 2,500 simoleons. So I've still got a little bit of budget left, really, to be honest with you. Um, which I'm absolutely for. Because I don't think we buy anything else. I think I pay for the campfire ah, and some chairs as well. I buy some more chairs as well. Just so, yeah, they've got chairs to sit on around the campfire. But I don't know. I think this place started to come together at this point. I remember thinking, oh, God, it's not doing it for me. Something's not right. The moment I went and put more landscaping in, did more terrain painting, it pulled it together for me. It really, really pulled it together. And I don't know, it just felt very quintessentially British summer holiday. But I'll definitely be delving down uh, into Cornwall this year, without a doubt. Um, and I think everyone else in the country will be as well, which is really annoying because Devon and Cornwall are kind of the, not the only holiday spots in the UK, but a lot of people come to Devon and Cornwall for the beaches because we've got amazing beaches down here. Um, so we're going to be swamped with tourists without any doubt this year i can totally imagine it but welcome come on down just remember to pick up your litter behind you thank you very much thank you very much indeed how much have we got left of this travesty of a video <laughs> we got a minute and 25 seconds loves we have but yeah you'll see the before and afters anyway and i think there's going to be a nice bit of improvement and i think it looks really cute how it looks and this is what i end up putting the fire pit just off to that side there um and i just put a few nice chairs around it i do well, I'm going to leave you here. What a... Apologies. Apologies for this, uh, how this video was edited. It was very bad. But, you know, I'm just being real with you. Sometimes shit happens. What can you do? I hope you all have a lovely weekend. If I see you on stream tonight for that new game that I'm playing as well, welcome on in. It's going to be so much fun. But if not, I will be back on Tuesday because I'm not releasing a video this Monday. Um, so I'll be back on Tuesday, my darlings, and I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I really do. But for now, I'm going to leave you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.